but the only thing that really mattered was the tip. So to ensure the signature on the receipt would be authentic, I had a light box built into the back of one of the restaurant's check holders with a traceable overlay of Michael Richards' actual signature that I found online. So you feel good about all this? Or? I'm good, I'm ready. Let's make it happen, giddy up. Okay, um, just remember you're, you're Michael Richards, not Kramer. Yeah. There. Right, got it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. All right. Before Joe K's opened that day, my crew had set up cameras throughout the diner so I could monitor everything that happened from a surveillance van down the block. So with the lunch rush in full swing, it was time for Michael Richards to arrive. The plan was for customers to take notice once the tip happened, in the hopes word would spread to the local press. So I instructed our impersonator to keep a low profile at first and order whatever dish he felt the real Michael Richards would have. Okay, you all ready, sir? I believe I am. Okie dokie, what we have today? Mmm, all right, I'm gonna go veggie melt. Okay, one veggie melt. The staff was fully prepped on what was about to happen, and we went through extensive rehearsals to make sure everything ran like clockwork. We're gonna go, we're gonna go with the, vegeta the veggie melt. Okay, one veggie melt. But the only thing that really mattered was the tip. So to ensure the signature on the receipt would be authentic, I had a light box built into the back of one of the restaurant's check holders with a traceable overlay of Michael Richards' actual signature that I found online. So once he was done eating and the restaurant ran the card, it was time for the pivotal moment of my plan. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed your lunch. You have a wonderful, wonderful day and a great weekend as well. And my heart was racing as our impersonator filled in the largest tip to ever be left on a $14 sandwich. And after having him exit quietly, it was time for Steve Server to execute the surprised reaction we had rehearsed so many times. Oh my God. Oh my God, $10,000 tip? Are you kidding me? Steve, Linda, what is it? $10,000 tip. That says $10,000. No a $10,000 tip. That's is this crazy. Guy? I think it was Kramer. I think it was Kramer from Seinfeld. You Michael mean Richards? Michael Richards? Yeah. The staff's performances were flawless, and our waiter made a huge point of ensuring that everyone in the restaurant knew about the generous tip. I couldn't believe it, man. It was Mike, it was Kramer from Seinfeld. Oh, my God. Michael Richards, the guy Kramer from Seinfeld, just ate. I was hopeful this would be enough for word to spread to the local media. Wow. Out of all places. And lucky for us, it was. This next story is so wild it might belong in a Seinfeld episode, and it apparently involves a cast member from that hit TV show. A waiter at Joe K's Deli in Vernon received a $10,000 tip on Friday night from Michael Richards, who played Kramer on Seinfeld. Customers took some photos there, claimed the waiter was so happy they thought he was actually gonna cry. While the story's not verified yet, the customers insist it was Cosmo Kramer himself who left that very generous tip. I love it. I had delivered on my promise to put Joe K's Deli back in the spotlight. And when I returned the next day, Steve couldn't have been happier. He came like an angel. And, uh... <laughs> an angel, really? Angel, yes. And with all the press coverage they got, I was sure business would be booming for a while. Seinfeld, Michael Richards, leaves $10,000 tip. Yeah. Perfect. I, I can't make it out, was it? The diarrhea? I decided to keep the Diarrhea Times open for one final issue, so that Austin's work could be displayed proudly in a place of honor. 